wait about a minute for it to load and you'll see that there is a menu up at the top where you can choose list calendars. You will first need to authorize the add-on After I've authorized, we need to go back and list the calendars. And you can see that it is listing all of my calendars that I have and asks if I want to delete them. For any of them that I do want to delete, I'm just going to go ahead and type delete into those cells. So I do need to save the word delete next to those after indicating which classes you want to delete, come up and choose either delete calendars or delete and unsubscribe. Delete and unsubscribe will allow you to unsubscribe from the calendars that you didn't make. So if you are joined into say your staff calendar and you want to unsubscribe, you still have written delete, but actually it will just unsubscribe you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do delete and unsubscribe. Did I type delete in column C? Yes, I did. All right, so you can see that I was able to delete and then ones that I did not create or I'm not the owner of, I just was unsubscribed so it takes it off of my calendar.